moved on to the number four. Town of Regent has all. We have a habitation fee to go. Thank you, Chair, through you, Chair. This application has been referred to the Planning Committee as there is a qualifying petition and eight individual letters of objection to the proposal. The application site is located in a primary residential area and as such the principle of residential development is acceptable, subject to the provisions of both national and local plan policy objectives. Planning permission was granted last year for the demolition of the existing dwelling and the erection of one replacement dwelling. A prior notification was submitted for the demolition of the dwelling in September last year and the site was subsequently cleared, um, including the removal of a number of trees within the site, but these trees were not covered by a tree preservation order. This current application is the construction of two detached dwellings located towards the east of the site. The plot is of substantial size and located at the head of the ridge, which is a small cul-de-sac of mixed house types. The surrounding properties are generally two-storey, with number six and eight adjoining the site containing dormer bungalows. The site is well screened by a number of existing trees and shrubs. The existing plot is twice the size of the, of the flanking plots and is considered that in terms of density, the plot can, can contain two dwellings without impinging on the density or general character of the area. In terms of design, there's a mix of house types, designs and parts and materials. And the submitted drawings indicate that the proposed dwellings will be a contemporary in, in appearance of timber and render elements. With regards to the objections raised by the residents, the first the first issue relates to the loss of trees on the site, and as mentioned previously, the trees are not protected by a tree preservation order or within the conservation area, and therefore no consent is required for their removal. Further concerns relate to the impact of the proposed dwelling on the immunity of existing residents through overlooking the loss of privacy. The proposed scheme will, will comfortably meet the council's interface distances set out in SPG 11. In addition, the site contains um, dense screening around the edges of the site, which provide, will provide additional protection. The occupier of number 12 of the ridge was concerned um, that inaccurate boundaries were shown and that the trees identified in the submitted drawings were no longer there. However, amended plans have been received that reflect these changes. With regards to the scale of the proposed dwelling, the proposal is for two storey, the size and scale of which is comparable with the existing properties in the area and will not appear out of context. There are no objections on highway grounds to, to this proposal. It's therefore considered that the proposal is acceptable and complies with, complies with the relevant advice contained in both national and local policy framework and is therefore recommended for, for approval subject to the attached conditions. Thank you, Jo. Any questions? Oh, there is a petition on with this, but there's no petitioner here to, to come forward, so obviously that needs to come. Um, the, so we'll go straight to the committee. Sorry, Chair. Can we, as before, can we just put the, the plan up of the site so we can see what is happening with the location of these new properties, please, Chair? No. 